Also, what I spotted in the papers today, uh, if you bought a Toyota Yaris this year, you can give yourself a massive slap on the back because the Yaris has the highest resale value on the market uh, and it's the car that will hold 60%, 63% of its value by 2020. The data was compiled by myvehicle.ie and their managing director, Justin Kavanagh, joins me now on the phone. Justin, good afternoon. How how are you, sir? I'm not bad. Yourself? Yeah, good, good. Getting through, getting through to the end of Monday. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, listen, tell us about the survey. Yeah, well, basically, well, it's it, it, it's a data analysis that we would uh, we would monitor, I suppose, the used car market. Um, uh, we've been doing that for quite some time. And then we obviously work very closely with a lot of the manufacturers on new cars as well. Um, so I suppose we've just we've compiled this data analysis. Um, I suppose from looking at uh, certain vehicles. I suppose we've actually looked at the top selling vehicles, right? And then looked at what they'd be worth in um, in a number of years going forward, based based on I suppose on today's market and based on their selling price as well, the new car price. Okay. Well, what was the top selling car? I, I suppose you've divided them into petrol and diesel. <laughs> Yeah, well, the, the top selling, I suppose the top selling petrol was the Fiesta. Right. Um, and then the Yaris follows, followed by the Yaris and the Polo. Obviously, the one that will hold its value, I suppose, out of those three would be the Yaris, will hold its value greater. And why is that? Well, I suppose brand has an awful lot to do with it. Um, you know, these companies pump millions into <laughs> retaining their brand and, and uh, make it attractive to people. Mm. Um, and the Toyota, of course, has the reputation for just defying. I mean, it just, it, it's just—it's the car that seems to go on and on and on. That's what they've built their 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 brand on as well. Exactly, exactly. And then you have, I suppose, a lot of people today are focusing on running costs. Mm. You know, so the running cost of vehicles, how you know, much is going to cost them for tires, NCT, mechanical, service, fuel—you name it. Um, it's quite important. Um, obviously, insurance is a big thing at the moment. So. You'll find that, I suppose, especially in the petrol, a lot of them are focused on the low-end uh, engine size. It seems to be fairly popular. So, okay. yes, it's, 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 it's focused mainly on those things. So the Yaris came out on top. What, was, what were kind of second and third place? The Polo was second at 58%. Okay. Uh, and then the Golf, actually. And then the Hyundai i20. Okay. And then the Ford Cougar as well seemed to do very well. I was in the diesel, yeah, yeah, the diesel there. In fairness, that might have something to do with Ford. have a new model coming out now. So I know Ford had a good push there on um, with car sales um, on the Cougar this year. Right. But yes, we do think it'll still hold its value well. Um, they have a couple of different, I suppose they have a utility vehicle as well, which is a four-seater commercial, which has proven quite popular for, for companies. Mm. Mm. Um, but yes, it's the Cougar. And then I suppose, surprisingly, the, the Hyundai Tucson was, um, I suppose it was number 10. Uh, but again, quite popular. There's a new model again, only just out. So, mm. um, we, we I see the Toyota Corolla is there at number seven in the diesel in, in the diesel list in terms of the top selling cars I, I just I mean we, we just had a, had a Toyota Carino when, when I was a kid that my dad had that then gave it to my mom, that then gave it to my brother that then gave it to me I don't know what it was it was a red Toyota Carino and I don't know what the, the mileage was when it finally just collapsed on the N7 going back to Carlo one day but the, the car was was red and for however many years it been on the road it, it was actually pink by the time it finished up right. so it was, one of, it was it was just but the car that wouldn't die and we actually it was quite sad when it when it when it did finally we had to put it to bed it's funny you say that with the color because we've looked at it and i suppose the three most popular colors that we see with, with regards holding their value it doesn't have a massive impact but white silver and black okay uh, and white is very popular these days but yeah yeah They'd be the three most popular. And yeah, I suppose there are, there are other things that you can do. I suppose brand is the main thing. Um, mm. Keeping the vehicle with low mileage obviously has a major impact in the value. Mm-hmm. And is depreciation out of our control? Um, well, not, it is to a certain extent. Obviously, if a manufacturer brings out a brand new model, new facelift version, it is going to have an impact on the old one. Mm. So, but, you know, there are things that you can do in order to try and, I suppose, help retain the value. Um, obviously, keeping the mileage as low as you can, the condition of the vehicle, obviously, is a plus. A lot of vehicles today have been sold with what's called service packs. They're quite popular. You know, if you, could, you can buy a five-year service pack from the manufacturer. Mm-hmm. That will help it. Certain technology on the vehicle, 
it'll certainly help it. And then just, I suppose, keeping the vehicle regularly maintained in service and keeping a record of it. That's yeah. the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah. People going in, leaving the car for service and forgetting to get the book stamped. Um, so it's still very, it's, you know, we obviously recommend that anybody doing that get the book stamped and keep a record of, of any work you have done to the car because it definitely will help help retain that uh, value. And as managing director of MyVehicle.ie, what are you driving? I have a Volkswagen Touareg. Oh, very good. There you go. Lovely so, looking thing as well. Yeah, nice nice vehicle. Um, probably not most, the most economical vehicle out there. Yeah, I didn't but, see it on the list anywhere. <laughs> no, no, I didn't want to manipulate it. But, um, <laughs> no, but again, it's, I suppose people should just focus on the running costs is a big thing. Yeah. And if, if, if someone goes on to my vehicle, they will get a free running cost on any vehicle. Just put their, put their reg in and we'll tell them the running cost of any vehicle for free. Okay. So it'll, it'll show them then, I suppose, based on sort of average mileage, what we reckon, what the, what the cost will be for the car, mm. tyres, NCT, mechanical, service fuel, over the space of a year. And that has a major impact on, on people looking to buy the next vehicle. Mm. And when you type in, like, you know, a Google search or in the vehicle search, what is the most sought after second hand model? Obviously, the Toyota Yaris now will, 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 will maybe up the, up the ante. But at the moment, is there a most popular car? Believe it or not, Ford, uh, Ford Focus, uh, Ford. And I'll tell you exactly because we actually, um, it's something we do on a regular basis, um, sort of monitor the market in real time. Um, so Ford, yes, yeah, Ford, Ford Focus, Ford Mondeo for some reason, tend to be very popular uh, on, a, on a second-hand basis. Okay. Like last month, just to give you an example, the top 10 used cars sold by franchise dealers was a 2014 Ford Diesel Ford Focus, mm. a 2015 Diesel Nissan Qashqai, a 2014 Hyundai i30, Diesel BMW 530 or 5 Series. So, you, you know, so, but again, Ford Focus there is up at the top and on a monthly basis, when we sort of produce these figures, Ford tends to be up there all the time. Mm. Um, it, that doesn't mean it's retaining the value, you know. It, it just means it's, it's the just most in terms popular of car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Well, listen, everybody in the Toyota Yaris, I think, should be delighted with themselves today. Justin uh, Cavan, a managing director of MyVehicle.ie. Thanks a million for thanks, talking Catherine. to us. Have a good day. You too. 